As I've done in previous videos, I'm going to give you a general rundown of the sign and the meaning behind it. As I've said before, every sign and every person born with that sign are different. So this is just general statement. Now, before I begin though, I want to give a shout out to all my Gemini friends. I thank you for watching and I thank you for your love and support. Now, I want to give a shout out to a very special Gemini friend of mine. He's been in my life for many, many years, and without him, none of this that you see today would be possible. I want to give a shout out to my best friend, Jim. So Jim, if you're watching, I love you, and I thank you for your friendship. The time of Jim and I occurs between May 21st and June 21st on the Western calendar. On the Hindu calendar, or the Eastern calendar, Jim and I occurs between June 14th and July 7th. The Sanskrit name of Gemini in Hindu astrology is Mithuna. Gemini is the third sign of the zodiac. It rules the third house, and it is also one of the first air signs of the zodiac. It is one of the four mutual signs, which I plan to tell you more about what mutual signs are and what they mean, and what that means, actually, in a later video. The ruling planet of Gemini is Mercury. It is also a masculine sign and a positive extroverted sign. I'm also going to talk about what the masculine, feminine, what the positive and negatives are of each sign in later videos as well. The symbol of Gemini is the twins, which for males are Castor and Polydeuces, and for females, Helen of Troy and Clytemnestra. Now, how the symbol, or the twins as they are known, came to be like this. Castor was mortal. Polydeuces was not. So, Polydeuces went to Zeus or Jupiter, depending on which myth you like to read. He went to him and said, Can you make him immortal for me? Can you bring him back? I miss him. And Zeus, or Jupiter being, you know, whichever one you want to use, being the kind of person he was, and being the very powerful person he was, granted him immortality. He granted Castor immortality. And so, what happens is, they ended up becoming united as one, which is where we get the twin factor. <coughs> now, Geminis are known as the great communicators of the Zodiac. Meaning, that if you ever meet a fellow Gemini, or you happen to be a fellow Gemini, be prepared to love to talk. Geminis make the best conversationalist. When it comes to careers, Geminis do well in these fields. Public relations, any form of writing, politics, law, or linguistics. Geminis actually can fit into any job. They give versatility the true meaning. And also, they make the best multitaskers. Now, these are general, what I'm about to give you now are general characteristics. Like I said, these are just general characteristics. Not every Gemini is the same. Okay. Now, some general characteristics of a Gemini are a very charming and eloquent manner. They love to learn and are very imaginative. And also, on the other hand, there's a flip side to everything. But on the other hand, Geminis can be very nervous. They can be very tense. They can be very superficial. They can be very fickle and become very restless over time and also very inconsistent, but also very, very inquisitive. Geminis also tend to be a bit flighty. So if you are a gem, don't be surprised if your mind bounces from place to place. This actually is a good thing. It means you think quickly on your feet. Now, I'm going to move on to some favorites of a Gemini. Favorite stone, favorite flower, favorite color, things of that nature. Now, if this applies to you, great job. If it doesn't, it's okay. Because like I said, these are general statements. All right. Favorite colors, 
blue, yellow, grays, periwinkles. Any color that looks clean is a is a favorable color for a Gemini. Favorite metal, and I would definitely pick some of this up if you happen to be a Gemini, because it may help you. Quick silver or silver. Favorite flower, jasmine, honeysuckle, or yellow rose. Favorite or lucky number, four or five. And five being with the planet of Mercury. Now, all right. Okay, now with that out of the way, I'm going to give you a little bit more info on what Gemini's are about when it comes to relationships and physical health. Gemini's and relationships can be very, very loyal, but almost to a fault. Because after a while, they hate being in a rut or feeling tied down. Open relationships may suit you guys best, or being with someone who is never ever boring. The most compatible sign that you, are, that you really fit with is Sagittarius, which is the direct polar opposite of you. So with you gems, opposites really do attract. If you're ever on the social scene, you're more than likely to find a Gemini, Gemini in your midst. This is because even though gems tend to be flighty, they do not like being alone. Now, when it comes to the health of a Gemini, the areas that can be most at risk are the lungs, the back, the shoulders, the ribs, and the central nervous system. So, my advice is, be extra careful during the cold and flu seasons when respiratory infections take place the most. And also, if you are a smoker and a fellow Gemini, quitting may do you some good. Now, when it comes to protecting your central nervous system, just do things that keep your mind sharp. Writing, you know, being imaginative, even role-playing games, they work. Well, I think I've said enough for today. So, this is Leo Brown signing off. And remember, if you haven't loved, then you truly have not lived. Talk to you later. Bye.